Hey everybody, it's Walt from Dirtfoot Racing. Just wanted to show you the aftermath of the Clark forklift repair. I had this whole front wheel assembly apart, did repair the brakes, replace seals, got that all back together, and uh, she's running. So I wanted to just kind of give you a little overview of the Clark forklift. Kind of, this is a, a 60s vintage, mid 60s vintage uh, model. One of the reasons you can tell that's with this chrome here. They did this in that time frame when they still want to make things look a little uh, cool slash sexy. Um, the power plant on this is a Continental, it's a flathead four-cylinder Continental engine. Originally these things were gasoline powered. Um, this one's been converted to uh, propane and that conversion was pretty straight up the way they did it. They just basically took the carburetor off and put the, the feed mechanism for the for the propane, which is this valving, this stuff here, and then replacing the carburetor on the intake manifold. Got this uh, nice little skinny battery here that sits on the side. Come around the back side here, or the other side, I should say, and we'll pop this side open. There we got the air filter, uh, the intake manifold, the exhaust, the exhaust pipe coming out. Uh, you can see the spark plug down in there. Got an hour meter for that. And this forklift was modified by Clark for the propane part at some point went to the factory so they added the, the hour meter and to keep track of things you can see from the from the data plate right there it uh like I said I was it was given to me we had to redo this back um, propane tank mount because originally the way they had it set up you couldn't open the the rear cover with the tank on it was it would interfere with it so we Took that apart, we welded it, cut some new pieces of metal, got it back together. Um, but yeah, it's a handy little forklift, you know, compact size. Um, so we're uh, getting ready to actually uh, accept the delivery here, and I'm going to actually use it for the first time. But um, supposedly, the story was I read that the Continental engine, this four cylinder, was one of the engines they used in the original Jeep uh, prototype for the Jeep back in World War II vintage. And then they didn't use that that engine. They went with the Willis engine, uh, a different design. But yeah, yeah, getting ready to uh, actually put it to use and uh, unload a, a parcel out of the back of the truck. So, um, just thought to give you an update on it. Um, I had the brakes all sorted out. It actually has brakes, uh, which it didn't have before. Most of the gauges are working reason the temperature gauge is not at this point. I don't know if it's just like stuck or the other gauges. Seem to be working all right so. Clark forklift ready to use.